can do jail seven years in Bangladesh for insulting Prophet Muhammad. Okay? See, Hindu people, we don't do all the news that you say like, oh, you guys just show this side of the news, but you never talk about Muslims oppressing us. You only will talk about Hindus oppressing Muslims. Atheist Republic is one-sided. It's not fair. Look, guys, we will pick... This is the pick our news pick, uh, selected. This is number seven. This is our pick by our news team. So you're wrong. You're wrong as usual. As usual, you're wrong. You. This is a Hindu person being oppressed in Bangladesh by Muslims. Hindu jail seven years in Bangladesh for insulting Prophet Muhammad. Let's see how long this is to decide if to. Yep, short enough. We don't need to read the summary. We can read the actual article. Uh, Dhaka. A Hindu has been in jail for seven years. Seven years. For just saying words. I like. I just say words coming out of my ear. Seven years. Your life behind bars. For just saying something. Can you guys imagine that? Can you guys even imagine that? A Hindu has been jailed for seven years in a Muslim in Muslim majority Bangladesh for insulting the Prophet Muhammad on Facebook. A prosecutor said Thursday, although Bangladesh is officially secular, <laughs> bull crap, officially secular, and you go to jail for seven years for insulting a prophet who is not even alive. What the? Okay, criticism of Islam is taboo. In the conservative nation of 168 million people and violent protests have previously erupted over social media posts deemed blasphemous. Okay, this the okay, here's the thing. The violent protests, you could say that's not against secularism because that's not the government, that's the people. Okay? But this guy got arrested. How could you even pretend to be a secular country? It's a joke to call yourself a secular country. When somebody gets seven years in prison for blaspheming. What the hell? Oh, guys, I forgot to read the comments after the last news. Because it went too long, okay? I'm going to read the comments this time, okay? Jibon Krishna Roy, a security guard, was found guilty late Wednesday of posting obscene derogatory and objectionable comments on Prophet Muhammad, prosecutor, Nizrul Islam Shahim said. Wow, these these names are really fit the stereotypes, right? Look at the person, the Hindu guy who gets behind prison. His name is Krishna, and the prosecutor's name is Islam. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. Islam sent Krishna to jail. Uh the offense falls under the country's controversial. Wait, I need to zoom in. You guys cannot read any of this. The offense falls under the country's controversial internet laws. The judge of the cybercrime tribunal in Dhaka sentenced him to seven years in jail, Shamim told AFP. Uh, last year, four people were killed and nearly 50 injured after police fired on thousands of Muslims protesting against a Facebook post by another Hindu man. Uh, by the way, guys, uh, Hindus in India use this as justification for their collective punishment against Muslims. This is your mind on religion okay those people did something horrible to those people over there so i get to do something horrible to these people over here i uh, see how your mind and religions work ah, oh tribalism is general in general collective punishment for everyone innocent people because those people you didn't do this they did this but you belong you associated with them so you're guilty by association that's how it works apparently that's how Religious people do justice. He was charged with inciting religious tension in case in a case still being heard in court. In 2016, angry Muslims again hashtag, religious people hashtag not all. Uh, in 2016, angry Muslims attack Hindu temples over a Facebook post. They said they. They said mocked one of Islam's holiest sites. In 2012, meanwhile, Muslim mobs torched Buddhist monasteries, houses, and shops in coastal Cokes Bazaar district after a photo of the Quran 
that was considered de de uh, defamatory was posted online by young, by a young Buddhist. Oh my God! This, this by the way, if you notice any far right Western far right people or any atheist content creators bring attention to the buddhist monetary monasteries being torched by muslims and never mention the hindus doing something like that in india to muslims they might be biased they might be having an agenda that they're not being transparent about it's okay to have an agenda it's okay to have an agenda. Everyone has an agenda. Just be transparent about your agenda. My agenda, I'm against religion. I want all religions to end. Okay? So have an agenda. Your content creator that you're following, it's okay for them to have an agenda. But be, be very suspicious if they're not being fully transparent about their agenda. Okay. Let me see live chat. Anything in the live chat? Going once, going twice. Oh, here. Identityless something is saying, hey, bastard, we Hindus know what, what to do. You shut the F up. Living in Canada and speaking, you bastard. Wow, very... You got me, man. <laughs> okay. Wow, wow what, a major, what a great comeback. What a great comeback. <laughs> News. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why. What has what's holding you back? Okay. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like bell <laughs> and also if you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that. They want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think it's no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well. And share, share our videos because... You know, we do get demonetized, that's an obvious, on every one of our videos, so F that, but we don't care about that anymore. <laughs> but we also get deprioritized, and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized, what does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right, and all that, you know, on, the, on people's homepages, and that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow, so we need you guys to share our videos. 